Hello, I'm glad our comparison test between the two most popular sizes in the Bluefin Cruise series has caught your interest. In this video, we want to introduce you to the special features of the two models, compare them with each other, and give you a few pointers to help you make your decision. Of course, the question of which board is best suited for whom has the highest priority. If you want more detailed information about the individual boards, we have linked suitable videos and the detailed written board tests on stand-up-paddling.org forward slash UK in the video description. The test boards shown were provided to us by Bluefin. In the video description, you will also find all the links to the current offers. If you use them to get one of the boards, we get a small commission. This way, we can cover our costs and are able to present you with the newest paddle boards and accessories in the future. Your price will, of course, not change. Thank you for your support. The most obvious difference between the two Bluefin Cruise models is the size or, more precisely, the length. This is because the Bluefin Cruise 12 is much longer at about 366 centimeters than the Bluefin Cruise 10.8, which measures only 325 centimeters. The thickness of approximately 16 centimeters or 6 inches and the width of approximately 82 centimeters or 32 inches are identical. This results in significant differences in payload, board weight, and riding characteristics that you should definitely consider when making your decision. Quite critical for the load capacity of a paddleboard is the volume and there the large Bluefin Cruise 12 has much more to offer. The manufacturer recommends the smaller Cruise 10.8 for paddlers up to 85 kilograms and states the maximum load capacity as up to 150 kilograms. The 12 feet variant is recommended for those over 85 kilograms or 185 pounds and is said to be able to carry up to 175 kilograms or 385 pounds. From our years of experience with both boards, however, we would like to correct this information somewhat. Due to the stiff and high quality construction of the boards, we believe that even the smaller board can be used by paddlers weighing 90 to 100 kilograms at the most. From this limit, the buoyancy then clearly comes to its limits and a change to the 12er board is absolutely recommended. So if you like to use your model with two lighter adults or want to take a child on tour more often, you should definitely opt for the larger version. However, the maximum values specified by Bluefin are a bit too high in practice. The boards will certainly be able to carry so much, but then sink in so deeply that the performance and stability certainly suffer. As an absolute upper limit, which is still conceivable with restrictions, we consider 120 kilograms for the 10.8 board and 150 kilograms for the 12 foot board to be realistic. On the subject of handling and transport, however, you must also consider that the large board is somewhat heavier at approximately 14 kilograms or 30 pounds than the smaller model, which only weighs 12.6 kilograms, 27 pounds. When inflated, the Cruise 12 is also noticeably bulkier. The difference in board length naturally affects performance. While the shorter Cruise 10.8 offers advantages in maneuverability and tipping stability, the Cruise 12 glides better overall once moving and also remains more stable on a straight course. Shorter paddle boards are simply easier to turn on their own axis than longer examples. However, the kick pad on the tail can be used on both models to turn it quickly and in tight spaces. The dimensions of the 12 foot board go strongly in the direction of a touring board, whereas the 10.8 is in the proven all rounder range. Accordingly, their riding characteristics differ. What both models have in common is the setup with three removable fins, which allows you to additionally change the planing behavior a bit. With the single fin, you always improve the straight line running and with three fins, you increase the maneuverability and tipping stability. Last but not least, it is also possible to mount only the side fins. This reduces the draft to the maximum, which may be necessary on shallow river sections, for example, to avoid damage. So it is possible to change the handling of both boards, Nevertheless, the basic described characteristics remain due to the size differences. In summary, we can say that the Bluefin Cruise 10.8 is a very good choice for most normal weight beginners who want to try out all facets of paddle boarding. This cruising board is a good gliding alternative to the classic all-rounder, so often recommended to most beginners. However, if you weigh a bit more, want to take passengers within the weight limit, or prefer to tackle longer, sportier trips, you should opt for the Bluefin Cruise 12. This board can also be a very good and stable alternative to a touring board for lighter paddlers. 
Here I would also like to mention that within the Bluefin Cruise series, with the 15 feet tandem, there is another board that has been consistently developed for the permanent use of two adults at the same time. You can also find the corresponding video in the description. The basic construction is the same for both boards. The multi-layer, thick-walled and UV-resistant sealed outer skin wraps the dense drop stitch core, where 11,200 polyester threads connect the top and bottom sides. This high-quality construction is one of the main reasons why we have been enthusiastic about Bluefin boards for years. It ensures a very high stiffness and is very robust. In these points, the Bluefin models still leave very, very many competitors behind. So in this respect, you get the same quality no matter which version you choose. This also applies to the features and the scope of delivery of the two different sizes, because in these features the boards are also identical. Therefore, I would like to mention the respective elements only briefly at this point. For more information, feel free to watch the separate video on the Bluefin Cruise series and read the detailed reviews on stand-up-paddling.org forward slash UK, which we have of course linked to you below this video. Features On both boards, an anti-slip deck pad with kick pad and dual structure provides secure footing and allows for spectacular turns. You can attach the leash and the included kayak seat to the five reinforced D-rings. Equipment, luggage, and provisions can be safely stowed under the flexible, side-reinforced deck net. Thanks to the three carrying handles, transport and handling in the water is done without any problems. A neoprene sleeve on the middle carrying handle can be used as a paddle holder. This is very useful during transport and swimming breaks. And with the action cam holder, you can capture your paddleboard adventures in the form of photos and video sequences. Accessories. Another plus point that applies overall to all Bluefin paddleboards is the large accessory package, which is of good quality all the way through. The following components are included in the set. A well padded paddleboard bag. A four piece fiberglass paddle, infinitely adjustable up to 215 centimeters with a second paddle blade for conversion to a double paddle. A switchable double action air pump with pressure indicator, pressure gauge. A coiled leash to secure the board in case of a fall in the water. A comfortable kayak seat. A waterproof cell phone case for your smartphone. A repair kit with PVC patches, glue, and a valve wrench for minor repairs and valve maintenance. FAQ. Is there a warranty on the two Bluefin boards? Yes, Bluefin provides a five-year warranty on the paddle boards. This is another factor that clearly speaks for high quality. Which board is more suitable for beginners? Beginners who like to look for high stability and still also good versatile riding characteristics are certainly best served with a Bluefin Cruise 10.8. If you need a much higher load capacity and mainly want to cover long distances at a sporty pace, then you should consider the Bluefin Cruise 12 foot. Conclusion. I hope that this video helps you find the right board for you and your areas of use. As you can see, both models have their strengths. You can only decide for yourself which features are most important to you. Either way, both variants are without a doubt among the high quality, durable, and resilient models in their size class. In particular, the quality of the boards and accessories in combination with the long-term warranty are good arguments in favor of Bluefin. If you like this video, please leave us a like or a comment. Take a look at the current offers and the links in the description. We are always looking for the best deals for you. For more information about paddleboarding, you can also visit us at stand-up-paddling.org forward slash UK. And with a subscription to our YouTube channel, we will automatically keep you up to date.